Okay, class, before you leave today, I'll be introducing a new project. Oh Please, my not God. another one. Come on, no! Man. Really? It is called the Disassembly Project, and you're allowed to work with a partner. The objective is to find how products that you use every day function slash look on the inside. Your homework is to finish this project by next class, as we will be presenting. Bye, class! Hey, Jill, want to be partners for this project? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Do you have any ideas? Hmm, maybe a pen? Jill, I don't think you have an inkling of an idea of how badly we'll fail if we do a pen. Yeah, you're right. Maybe we could do a gaming PC. That would be such a good idea. So, we should start by doing some research. Sure, and I can start disassembling the PC. We finished! Now we need to practice presenting. I hope you have worked on your projects because today's presentation day. Who wants to go first? Jill and I can go first. Make sure to do better than this shiny apple. We decided to do our project about gaming PCs because we use these every day and are intrigued by them. A gaming PC is a personal computer designed for playing any video game. There are many advantages of using a gaming PC. Gaming PCs are faster than a console. You can also do more than just gaming on it and buy video games for a cheaper price. It also increases social interaction. Now, we will talk about the difference between a gaming PC and a regular PC. Gaming PCs are mostly used for big tasks that require high amounts of storage, data, and graphics. In order to accomplish this task, gaming PCs have fast processors, a good quality graphics card slash GPU, also known as a graphics processing unit, high amounts of storage, and a high-end cooling system. Regular PCs, on the other hand, are predominantly used for simple and small tasks, which is why they only require a standard processor and graphics card. Next, the gaming PC assembly process includes 10 steps. First, you will need to prepare the tools. Next, you will position the CPU, or central processing unit, and the cooling system. You will install the power supply, and the RAM. Then you will insert the GPU and storage drive. Subsequently, you will install the operating system. Lastly, you connect the fan case and reboot the system. What does the future of game PCs look like? Parts of the computer can be 3D printed in order to reduce cost of the PC. In the near future, gaming PCs can be used to find a cure for a vaccine or even send rockets to celestial bodies. It could possibly be used for the prevention of climate change. As the world changes and technology advances, it will be interesting to see what happens in the near future. Definitely better than this shiny apple.